This is called comic book canon casting. Comic book canon casting. All right, and for today, we are going to have fun with this. Chris and I are going to are going to give our arguments as to who we feel like should be cast for about five or six characters um, of the X-Men. We all know it's coming. Kevin Feige said at Comic-Con last year, X-Men are coming. The mutants are coming. I'm super excited for this. Chris is super excited for this. Chris, we're going to start off with you and uh, and your first spec. We're going to start off with uh, Professor Professor X. Oh, man. Professor X. I I would really love to see uh, McAvoy return. Um, he he did such a great job, in my opinion. He's a really good actor that I think is going to land some some great roles uh, in the future. But ultimately, I think Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios is going to take a, a, a fresh take here. So my fresh pick for Professor X, Zachary Quinto. Um, th this guy it just really won me as a fan um, on. Uh, uh, lost, and then also taking, standing in the shoes or filling the shoes of Leonard Nimoy portraying Spock. I mean, that's something that I didn't believe could ever be done, and and he did it to a T. And uh, definitely my favorite character from from the uh, the new Star Trek franchise. I definitely think he has the the depth and the ability to uh, really flesh out Professor X on the big screen. one but i do i do like i do i do like your 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 zachary kinto i think that's a that's a that's a really good call out i'm gonna go in a different direction here for professor x i am gonna go with a guy by the name of jason clark he may look familiar to you he was the uh in dawn of the apes as well as john connor in terminator genesis i think he's got the acting chops i think he's got the looks i think he would make a great professor x um but again, you know, we can't go. There's no wrong answer here in, in terms of us kind of coming up with these these picks. So moving on, we got Magneto. Who do you got? Chris? All right. All right. Another one. Magneto. I mean, uh, Michael Fassbender just did an amazing job again. Uh, oh, just seeing him on screen, I think, was probably my favorite. Some of my favorite elements from 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 the reboots. But again, MCU, Marvel Studios. I just feel them taking a fresh. Uh, fresh slate here. So my Magneto choice uh, might be a shocker. Cillian Murphy. Uh, Cillian Murphy, a lot of you might know him for Scarecrow in the Christopher Nolan uh, Batman trilogy. I just think, I don't think that he gets enough credit uh, as an actor. And I would love to see him in this role. He definitely has a depth behind those eyes. Something, something really dark. And I think he can really bring out that duality of the character that is Magneto. I thought you were—I thought you were crazy when you first suggested Cillian Murphy, but then I saw that picture side by side with Magneto. I'm like, you know what? If he gained a few pounds, I think I think he would make a good choice. But for me, I have a different choice, and I'm going to go with Timothy Oliphant. You may recognize him from Justified and even the Santa Clarita Diet. He—he—he's uh, got—he's got a wide range in terms of his acting skills, um, and I, I really think—and he's also got. Silver hair, basically, right now, which is which is you know T for uh, for for Magneto, but um, I, I really think he's a guy that would be able to kind of have that maniacal uh, presence about him to portray an iconic character such as Magneto. And uh, again, there's no wrong answers, but uh, we will move on to the next character. And Chris, the next character we have is Jean Grey. Who do you got? All right, Jean Grey. Uh, here's the thing, and you're going to see this with a few of my other uh, picks down the line here, but I think uh, Marvel Studios is going to go young with these characters. I think uh, they obviously want characters that can, uh, or actors and actresses that can play these characters for, for 10, 15 plus years. So my choice for Jean Grey, Millie Bobby Brown. Yes, Millie Bobby Brown, 11, from Stranger Things. Now, she is currently 16 years old, right? So you're like, well, man, that, that's crazy young. But ultimately, when these movies get released, or actually when they start production, it probably won't be for another couple of years. So if she was chosen for the role, she would probably be 18 when uh, production would begin, which I think puts her at a perfect age 
to dive into this role and be a character that she could play for for a decade plus. A decade plus, she could like play that for twenty five years. Like she's sixteen years old. If they if they go into production within the next two years, I mean, she's got a law. I mean, if she wants, like as an actor or any type of artist, you don't want to be pigeonholed and stuck in something like that. But you know, man, that's a that's a really good call. I tended to go a little bit older with my my X Men, and I know it does. It may not make sense here because of the continuity. Like, oh, if they were this old, why, where were they? Why were they not around in in the MCU previously? What's the explanation for that? Fine, I get it, but this is just who I see playing these characters. There's no wrong answer, but I'm gonna go with Felicity Jones. You may recognize her from Rogue One. Uh, she was an absolute badass there, and I think. You know, Jean Grey is less of a, well, Jean Grey is a, is a strong person, a strong personality, uh, not as much as Felicity Jones's character in Rogue One, but I think, again, Felicity Jones is an actress that would be able to have that range of being somebody who is, uh, I see Jean Grey as like, she's, she's, she's very nurturing in some ways, and uh, I, think, I think she'd be able to lend her chops, her acting skills, to that character, and I could see her playing uh, Jean Grey. So moving on from Jean Grey, though, we got Cyclops. What do you got? All right, Cyclops. Cyclops, uh, I don't know if he's been uh, done justice really uh, so far in, in uh, on-screen portrayal. And pairing Cyclops, obviously, with my Jean Grey pick of uh, Millie Bobby Brown, I chose Asa Butterfield. Now, if you guys remember, Asa Butterfield was in talks to play the MCU Spider-Man or the Sony borrowed uh, MCU Spider-Man. Now, Asa Butterfield, he's still young too. He's currently 23. A couple years, uh, if production would begin, he'd be 25, paired with an 18-year-old uh, Millie Bobby Brown. So the thing with Asa Butterfield, now he kind of he kind of rubs me the wrong way, but so does Cyclops. And that's why I picked him. I think he has this kind of snark attitude about him in this cockiness that would really fit into the Cyclops character. But I do think, especially as Asa matures uh, uh, and, and grows into his more adulthood, I think that he can actually take on that strong leadership role that Cyclops ended up having to take on in the comic books as well. That is straight comedy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, a little young for me, I think, and I don't know physically if he looks the part, so I'm not going to quite agree with you. There are no wrong answers here, um, but you did, I did get quite a laugh when you <laughs> said that he irks you. Uh, my my pick here um, is actually somebody who's already played some. Has already played a character in the MCU. Uh, his name is Wilson Bethel. Uh, as you may remember, he played Bullseye in the third season of Daredevil. Uh, outstanding season. Who knows if uh, if this is going to happen again? If Daredevil will enter the MCU and hopefully Bullseye, um, but uh, this isn't unprecedented, as you know, because uh, Marshall Ali, who we played um, Cottonmouth in uh, Luke Cage, is going to be Blade in the MCU as well. But I think Wilson Bethel uh, has the physique and the looks to play a guy like Cyclops. I think. Uh, um, he has the quiet demeanor as well that Cyclops has. I think he could portray that as well and uh, and be the, the, the team leader of the X-Men in the MCU. That is my opinion there. And we will move on to our uh, second class character, who is Storm. She's a pretty popular character. She's one of the most popular characters. I think she's one of the most badass women in the, MC, uh, in the Marvel Universe and hopefully MCU. Who do you got? Yeah, you know, again, I, I went young, and and I will just say, uh, you know, Marvel Studios and their casting um, has just done an amazing job. And regardless of of our fan picks here, I have extreme faith in uh, Marvel uh, Marvel Studios casting, uh, especially pulling out young actors and actresses that really have no resume, and they they all have just done a great job so far. And my pick here was uh, Yara uh, Shahidi. Now. Uh, I, I've seen her on Blackish. You guys may have seen her as well. She's, I think, I do believe she's only like 20 years old uh, currently. And she started young on, on that show. And I just, I, I haven't seen too much of her, but I, I like the, uh, her, her screen presence uh, and what she brings to the table. I, I haven't seen uh, too much depth in her, but she's one that I can look at and say, if Marvel Studios was to go with someone like this, I, I, I think it's because they see the growth potential 
in her. I, I think she definitely has a, a strong demeaning, uh, de uh, strong uh, woman uh, presence when she's on screen, even being so young. And I think that can definitely uh, be uh, brought out in, in a Storm character. We're definitely going young, a younger vibe with all this cast right here. I think she's a phenomenal actress. Um, in my opinion, I don't think she fits the mold of Storm. I don't think she has that badass quality. She hasn't had a role that 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 we've seen her be a badass in, so right. she hasn't had the right. opportunity, so she could prove right. us all or prove me wrong on that. But she would not be my first choice. My first choice for Storm, I was never happy with the Holly Berry Storm. I thought she was a bit, uh, a bit. I thought she was a bit soft. I'm sorry. I, I, I agree. Her Love Holly Berry, sweet. but yeah, I, I don't I want agree. to see that in Storm. I want Storm to have like this, just a brow like this, just ready to just kick some ass. Uh, so somebody who did kick some ass recently was Naomi Aki. She was in Rise of Rise of Skywalker. Uh, I think she would be fanta a fantastic pick for Storm. I think she's got all the qualities to be that badass, to 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 be Aurora, um, and uh, she, you know, a potential leader of the X Men because you know at one point she was the leader of the X Men, um, and I would be super psyched, super psyched to see her play. Uh, play storm in the MCU. I, before we go into our next one, I, you, you killed it there. I have to say that, that man, I want to stand up and give you a standing ovation for that. And I hope that, uh, uh, Marvel studios, uh, takes your advice on that one. Cause man, <laughs> wow. A plus. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You can keep it coming. Keep it coming. Um, <laughs> all right. Now our last character is arguably the most famous character, X-Men character of all time, arguably one of the most popular Marvel characters of all time. Who do we got? You announce it. Who do we got? Who are we specking on? Who do we want uh, cast as uh, who? Go. Yeah, yeah. So we all know that this is one that is just Wolverine. Wolverine. Not only is he one of the most iconic characters in Marvel history, but Hugh Jackman who I think should win a Lifetime Achievement Award for his role as Logan Wolverine. How do you replace that? W what do you look for? You know, we've had, we've had years now of, you know, uh, so much online and in social media, people talking about this person, Tom Hardy and that person and this person. And, and honestly, uh, it was a, a tough decision for me too, uh, for me to contemplate this. But over the last probably few months, I have had somebody in mind that I am sticking with, and you can hate me all you want for it, but my pick for the next Wolverine, he's 30 years old currently. He's at a good age. He's, he's got uh, some age to him, but yet could still play the character for a long time. He's only five foot five, and we know that the one flaw with Hugh Jackman was that he was extremely tall, and Wolverine is almost a midget. None other than Daniel Radcliffe. Yes, <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe. No, we are going to forget that he was ever this little magic wizard boy, Harry Potter, and we will remember him as the iconic MCU Wolverine. Mark my word, this is your guy. <laughs> Listen, I, uh, I don't hate it. Um, <laughs> I didn't know he was 5'5". Five five. That's a good call. But yeah. he's not like that, you know, that, that, that. <laughs> You know, you know, kind of Logan that we know from the comic. Um, there is rumor. I don't. We didn't talk about this uh, leading up to the show, but there is rumor that he is up for the Moon Knight role as well. Uh, I could, I could see him being that. Look, it's not a bad call, right? Take away Harry Potter, he could, he can gain, some, he can gain some mass on him. He's got the the wolfy hair, you know, and I, I think it could work. I, I, I like that pick. I do like that pick, but I like my pick better. And it is one that is a popular pick. I know a lot of people are pushing for this. My pick for Wolverine would be Taron Egerton. Uh, you've recently seen him as Elton John. He's also been in the um, – help me out here. What movies what, – what are those movies? I cannot – the Mark Millar movies. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, man high, man. action. high action. He's got the acting chops for it. He's got the physique for it. He's got the face for it. Grow out those sideburns. Get that hair wolf in. I think he'd be great. I think he'd be a great Wolverine, um, and I really hope that they go with that pick. But again, all these picks are kind of wish lists. Who knows what they're going to do? They came out of left field with a lot of things 
in the Marvel universe in the past 12 years. It's been 12 years. Right. Uh, and honestly, I trust Feige. I trust the MCU. Yeah. They have not, they, there's been maybe borderline stinkers here and there uh, in their history, but I'm, I'm super, super excited for the future of the MCU. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. And Hey, you look, if Robert Pattinson can play Batman, Hey, <laughs> Harry, Harry Potter, if, if, if Sparkle Twilight Vampire can, can be Batman. Uh, you know, Harry Potter can can do Wolverine. So, but hey, like you said though, I, I have all my faith in in uh, Marvel Studios and and what what they're gonna bring us in the next few years for sure. <laughs>